from terriers, retrievers and trackers to bear dogs and bulldogs. Here are 15 dog breeds that have gone extinct. Number 15, Brock de Puy. This old breed of hunting dog originated in West Central France in the 19th century when other Brocks were crossing with greyhound-like dogs. Known for being fast and flexible animals, they were bred for hunting in the lowlands. As such, they were known for being good companions and for their hound-like appearance. While specimens with its original form have died out, offshoots of this breed have been produced for the rare breed pet market. Number 14, Paisley Terrier. This small animal originated in Scotland where it was bred as a show dog version of the Skye Terrier. Its modern day relative is the Yorkshire Terrier. They weighed about 16 pounds, seven kilograms, and were known for their flowing silky fur. They were also viewed as favorable pet dogs, although the care required for maintaining their coats was considered a drawback. The Paisley Terrier was very successful as a show dog. Ironically, that success may have hastened their demise. They won so many prizes for their long coats that a backlash from the owners of Sky Terriers developed, which led fanciers to avoid them. The loss of interest led to the breed's decline and extinction. Number 13, Curie. Polynesian ancestors of the Maori introduced this breed to New Zealand sometime during the 13th century. They were distinguished by their powerful shoulders, short legs, and bushy tails. Not unlike some other Polynesian dog breeds, these animals didn't bark, they howled. The Maori used them for hunting birds, but they also valued the dogs for their skins and furs to use as clothes and decorations. After European settlers arrived in New Zealand, the Curie couldn't survive interbreeding with the dogs they introduced. By the 1860s, the animals had gone extinct. The last known specimens of this breed were placed in a collection at New Zealand's National Museum in Wellington. Number 12, Talbot. In medieval times, Talbot was a term that referred to an individual hound, not a specific breed. Such animals were depicted as all white with short legs, long drooping ears and a long curled tail. According to some sources, the dogs were introduced to England by William the Conqueror in 1066, but their exact origin is uncertain, as is their name. The dogs were so well regarded that their image showed on family crests. It was during the 17th century that the Talbot was clearly identified as a distinct breed. Most sources indicate that it existed as such until the late 1700s. While it's still unknown whether the Talbot was a scent hound or a sight hound, it is thought to be the ancestor of modern beagles and bloodhounds. Number 11, German Bulldog. Its German name is Bullenbeiser, which translates as bull biter. By all accounts, this was a tough, aggressive animal that was essentially bred out of existence. Like the Old English Bulldog, it was used in the blood sport of bull baiting. But that's not where the similarity ends. In the late 1870s, German breeders crossbred the Bullenweiser with Old English Bulldogs to produce a new breed that's now known as the Boxer. Number 10, Hawaiian Poi Dog. While it's not known exactly where this breed originated, many sources speculate that they may have come from Indonesia. That explanation may also apply to the Curie, another Polynesian dog on our list. Aside from huge feral dogs, the Hawaiian Islands didn't have many large land mammals, so these dogs weren't used for hunting purposes. As a result, these short-legged, pot-bellied canines were never bred for a specific standard. Humans basically used them for two purposes one of which was food. Their use as a food source is reflected in their common name because poi is a Hawaiian staple food. The dog's other use was a lucky charm. Because they were unsuited for little else, the breed declined when consuming dog meat was deemed unseemingly and the native religion was cast aside. As a result, the poi dog died out by the early 20th century. Number nine, Alant. These dogs were originally bred by the Alani tribe that inhabited Central Asia and later occurred in Europe in ancient times. They were big, short-coated animals that made them excellent hunters of large game. Some experts think they may have resembled present-day Dogo Argentino. The Alani tribes bred them for various functions, with some strains bred for specific purposes. Earliest mentions of them have occurred around 1200 BC, 
and are thought to have appeared in present-day Albania around the 5th or 6th century BC. The Elant probably died out sometime during the 1700s. Did you know that new breeds are being developed that are based off the Elant bloodlines? That includes the British Elant and the Altamaha Plantation Dog. Number 8. Dogo Cabano Also known as the Cuban Bloodhound, this animal was a mix of several breeds of Bulldogs and Mastiffs. In its time, it was regarded as an ideal fighter and protector of property. It's been speculated that some of these dogs were brought to the US and were used as watchdogs. Their use in Cuba was extremely disappointing because they were trained to capture runaway slaves. The dog's purpose was so closely linked to that endeavor that when the slave trade was abolished, this breed subsequently went extinct. But they still have a descendant which lives today and resembles the American Pit Bull Terrier. Number 7. Cordoba Fighting Dog With a name like that, these strong animals from Argentina were obviously bred for fighting. They had a high tolerance for pain and were always ready to fight to the death. These animals were a volatile mix of Bulldog, Boxer, Bull Terrier and Mastiff and were notably relentless. In fact, these animals were too aggressive for their own good. When males and females were expected to mate, they instead tried to fight and kill each other. Along with many of them being killed in dogfights, that eventually led to the extinction of this breed. Number 6. Molossus Among other breeds, Mastiffs, Great Danes and St. Bernards are known as Molossus. That's a reference to the ancient Molossus, from which they are descended. These animals get their name from the Molossians, an ancient Greek tribe that bred them. They valued the dogs so much that their image was featured on silver coins. The animals were noted for their impressive size and ferocity, and were used for hunting and herding. Ancient Romans used them in warfare and arranged them in attack formations. Even Aristotle and the Roman poet Virgil praised the beasts for their fearlessness and intelligence. With frequent mentions throughout ancient literature, this breed really made their mark on history. Number 5. St John's Water Dog These domestic dogs originated in Newfoundland in Canada, while you might be tempted to link it with the modern Newfoundland breed, the genetic makeup of this extinct animal remains unconfirmed. But it's still viewed as the ancestor of today's retrievers, including the Golden and Labrador breeds. That's a result of the dogs being exported to England, where they were crossbred with other dogs. The water dog was so named because fishermen valued them for their friendly temperament and work behaviour. Their extinction was due to a couple of factors. That included heavy taxes on dog ownership in Newfoundland and the UK's implementation of a long-term quarantine on all imported animals. Their numbers declined in the early 20th century and by 1980, the water dog was extinct. Number 4. Russian Tracker The American Kennel Club says the Golden Retriever was the third most popular dog breed in 2018. If you own one, you might take issue with that ranking. You also might note that your pet is the closest living relative of the extinct Russian tracker. They were impressively sized at 100 pounds, 45 kilograms, and standing about 30 inches, 76 centimeters at the shoulder. A double coat helped them to withstand the harsh weather of their environment. This breed was used for centuries by farmers in the Caucasus Mountains to guard their livestock. Even though they were large, the Russian tracker was fast enough to chase off wolves and other predators and they were intelligent enough to maintain a flock of sheep without human assistance. Although they were still observed in the 1800s, it's unknown exactly when they went extinct. Number 3. Taltan Bear Dog Did you think this animal's name refers to its appearance? It's really because these dogs were bred to hunt bears. The indigenous Taltan people of Canada bred an animal that was small and nimble enough to follow bear tracks in the snow. Historians think they may have resembled modern Spitz-type dogs. While they dared to face down their quarry, these dogs were very gentle with humans and smaller animals. Although they thrived in the bitter cold, the bear dogs experienced problems outside of their environment. That included heat prostration and distemper. When they mated with dogs introduced by European explorers, the Taltan breed became diluted. No living specimens were documented after 1970 and no breed today is known to share a genetic relationship with the bear dog. Number 2. Brazilian Tracker The story behind this breed's extinction might be the strangest on the list. 
It's been compared to the American Coonhound in terms of appearance and was a scent hound type hunting dog. In 1967, it was recognized by the Brazilian Kennel Club and an international federation of kennel clubs. But the dog's entire breeding stock was destroyed by a disease outbreak that was exacerbated by an overdose of insecticide. After that, the breed was declared extinct and was delisted from both kennel club organizations. But the Brazilian tracker was officially re-recognized by the Brazilian Kennel Club in 2013. That had to do with efforts underway to reconstruct the breed when breeding animals of the correct type are located. Number one, Old English Bulldog. This breed got its name from the English practice of bull baiting, which involved pitting a bull against other animals. Those other animals were usually dogs, and it led to the creation of this breed. While its true origins are unclear, most sources think it was derived from the old Mastiff and other dogs used in warfare. Known for their broad, muscular bodies, these bulldogs weighed around 45 pounds, 20 kilograms, and their powerful jaws exerted a vice-like grip. When the Cruelty to Animals Act was established in 1835, it led to a decline in bull baiting, which led to a lack of interest in maintaining the breed of Old English Bulldog. Despite the 1835 Act, dog fighting still persisted in the UK, so breeders crossed the Old English Bulldog with the Old English Terrier to create a superior fighting animal. Known as the Bull and Terrier, it accelerated the Bulldog's extinction. One of the breed's descendants is the American Pit Bull Terrier. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.